Hello and welcome to Performance Testing Hub. I am Nikhil. In this video, we will be learning how to design and execute your scenario using controller. Controller, which is one of the component of load runner, is used to design a scenario, execute your scenario, and to monitor your scenario during execution. So let's get started. So to open controller, just go on the search bar, write controller. It will show you this app. Click on it. So uh, for uh, for designing our test, I will be using the uh, ViewGen script which we have created in our last uh, video. So if you have not seen that video, um, I suggest please watch that. So the opening page of the controller gives you following options. So first is select scenario type. So there are two scenario two uh, two types: manual scenario or a goal oriented scenario. So in a manual scenario, controller allows you to design your own scenario based on your requirement. In a goal oriented scenario, you specify certain goals respect to performance. For example, the response time or the number of hits per second you want to achieve. Such time, such type of goals you define and based on that, the controller designs a scenario for you. So in our uh, scenario designing, we'll be going with a manual scenario. Second is select the script you would like to use for your scenario. So I have a load runner script. I will be selecting that. So click on load runner script. Select the script. Click add. And click OK. So this opens up the controller's design page. So uh, as you can see, the design page is divided into three sections. Scenario groups, service level agreement, and scenario schedule. So let's see scenario group. So in scenario group, uh, you can see that the script which I have added on the uh, introduction page. So it's present here. So it shows the group name, path of my script and virtual location. Since I have not selected any virtual location, it's none. It gives you option of uh, China to UAE and you can emulate things. It shows quantity so by default it's showing 10 but it's configurable i will show you how load generator so basically if you are running your uh, test with multiple load generators then you can specify which load generator you want to use for this script so other options you have is uh, you can add one more uh, group or script if you want for example if i want to add one more script i will just select the script and I will give the quantity of either let's say 5 click OK and you see I got one more script added here with quantity as yes, 5 choices if you uh, if you want to delete some group you have an option of delete also here just click on it it will select that group and click on this it will delete the group if you if you want to see the runtime settings of any group so just select for example I just selected the first script and I want to see the runtime settings so it will open my runtime settings so this will show the same runtime settings which you have done while creating the script use, using ViewGen but if you want to reconfigure it you can open it here and you can reconfigure it for example uh, during my scripting I selected the extended logs but since I am running this just for long duration so ideally extended logs should be disabled so if I want I can just change it to change it to standard logs and click OK so this will change my runtime settings and if you want to see your scripts so uh, controller gives you that option as well for example you can select your script and click on this particular icon it will open your script in VUG and you can see your script uh, so uh, these are the uh, changes uh, we will be doing in the scenario group and uh, let's move to scenario schedule so once you have included all your scripts in the scenario group so we, uh, you can design your schedule so the first option is schedule by so it gives you two options schedule by scenario or schedule by group so when you select schedule by scenario then whatever schedule you are creating will be applicable for the whole scenario that means all the scripts which present inside this scenario will be applicable for them and when you 
selected schedule by group this one then what all schedule you are creating will be applicable to this particular script which is selected for example I say if I select one so it is showing the blue blue scale blue line schedule is for the first one if I select second then green line schedule is for the second script so that means I can I can define schedule for each script so based on your requirement you can either select schedule by scenario or schedule by group so for our uh, this session I am just selecting schedule by scenario so once you have selected uh, the schedule then you have to select run mode so run mode has two options real world schedule or basic schedule so uh, if I want to run a simple load test where the users are ramping up running for a set of duration and then ramping down then I can go with a basic schedule but uh, for example for, uh, if I want to uh, create a complex scenario where uh, for example spy for spike testing uh, or for uh, uh, finding the breakpoints so for such, such kind of complex uh, scenarios we usually go with the real world schedule so for our testing uh, for our scenario creation we are just uh, creating a simple load test so I will go ahead and click on the basic schedule so when I, whenever I am switching from real world to basic or from basic to real world um, it gives us a warning pop up you can just click on yes so now I am creating a basic schedule so let's see what are the uh, settings available inside basic schedule first is initialize so initialize has options like uh, initialize each v users just before it runs or you can say initialize one users every let's say 15 seconds or initialize all v users simultaneously so i usually select initialize each v users just before it runs select okay second is start v users so it gives you two options start all v users at the same time or start set number of users every given point of time for example I am saying start one user every five seconds my one user will be coming every five seconds till it reaches 15 users which I have given for my two scripts so as soon as I clicked on apply you see it, it has created a steps and by the time it is here it will be having all 15 users and next is the duration so it is given run until completion if I am going with run until completion so it will be running for the number of iterations which I have given in my runtime settings and if you want to say particular duration then you can select this button run for let's say 15 minutes I'm saying 15 minutes and other option is run indefinitely if you want to stop it by your own you can select run indefinitely and whenever you want to stop you can manually stop it so I am going with the second option run for 15 minutes and click apply okay so now if you see my user will ramp up it will run for 15 minutes and now I want to define how the V user should stop just in this slot so here you have two options run uh, stop simultaneously that means stop all V users at the same time or stop given number of V users every specified time so I am just saying stop one V user every five seconds and click apply so now my scenario designing is almost complete you see so whatever changes I was doing on the left side it was graphically represented at the right side so if you see here so my user will ramp up it will run for 15 minutes and then slowly it will ramp down so this is what I have designed in my schedule so now our scenario designing is done so we can go ahead and click on the run button so as soon as you click on the run button the controller page moves from design page to run page so we can see here that 
our both of our scripts are in running stage and slowly our v users are moving from down status to running status so since we have given a ramp up time then so slowly this v users are coming so if you see here now now three v users for demo one and two v users for demo one one underscore one are running and if you see on the right side it shows currently how many v users are running how much time it passed since we started our test uh, what is the hits per second currently so slowly our hits per second will also increase as the number of users will move from down to running state uh, this shows how many transactions passed till now uh, this shows uh, do we have any tra failed transactions and if you are facing any errors then that will be shown here and now if you see uh, uh, for demo 1 we have 10 uh, approximately 10 v users running and for demo 1 score 1 5 and uh, let's see the other options as well so here you have an option of stop so if you want to stop your execution right away you can click on the stop button i'm not clicking i don't want to do that right now the next option is v users so this is very important uh, tab so many uh, work you can do here so for example it will show so it will show you all the running v users with respect to the script you are selecting for example for demo 1 i have this many v users and for demo 1 score 1 i have this many v users so let's say if i want to stop any v users so i can select that v user and click on gradual stop so slowly it will stop i have another option to select that v user and click on stop it will write ever stop it the difference between gradual stop and stop is if i select gradual stop so it will allow the v user to perform that particular activity which it is doing and then stop it and if i if I select the stop, so it will write away stop it. It will not allow the user to perform the activity which it was doing. Other options are you can if you want to add a new user, you can add a new user also. Click on add v user. You want to know that you want to add under demo underscore one one user, click OK. So if you see, I got one new user which is in down state. I will just select that and click on run. So it will initialize and it will start running. So it like now I have added one more v user in my script. And now let's say if you want to see what your particular v user is doing. So what you can do is you can just select that v user and click on show selected v user. So it will open the run runtime viewer panel of that particular v user and you can see what exactly it is doing in this particular point of time. So it takes some time to open this. So you see, this particular user is doing a payment. So likewise, you can just select different view users and if you want to see what they are doing, you can see that. And one more feature which, which it provides it, you can select a view user and you can see the logs. So if you want to see the log file of particular view user, you can do that as well from here you want to see which parameter they used and uh, what was the correlation values they captured so things like that you can see here so i will just close this panel now so other feature is so when we are running our uh, scenario so we need to monitor certain graphs so, so those graphs are available inside the run page of the controller if you see here so i can on this particular graph i can see how many v users were uh, ramped, ramped up and how they are running so if you see here slowly they ramped up ramped up ramped up and here they became stable and currently they are running so here i closed some of, uh, i stopped some of the v users so it came down and then i added one more user that's why it came up and now it's a stable so this was my running v user similarly you can see hits per second graph transaction per uh, transaction response time graph and if you want to add so on the left side you have many more graphs to add you can add those graphs 
and also if you want you can increase the number of graphs also right now we are see seeing four graphs if you want you can make it eight also i just added eight so at a, a single point of time i can monitor eight graphs and for example if i want to see this throughput double click on it it will expand i can just analyze the graph and again double click it will go out so in the in the top bottom you have this details also for this graph so what is the minimum average maximum standard deviations all those details are present So if you see here, so our test is uh, now all the 15 B users which we designed for our scenario are in a running state and two users stopped because we manually stopped them and currently our hits per second is 2.60 and almost it's stable now because all our B users are in a running state. So once execution is done, it will generate result of uh, result for you. So since we designed it for 15 minutes and it will take long time to complete. So I'm just going ahead and stopping this scenario. So click on OK. So gradually it is stopping. If you see here, gradual exiting. That means it is allowing the V users to complete the activity they were performing. So if, uh, so it also gives you option to stop now if I click on this it will kill all the users right away if I click here it will kill all the users right away so now we have stopped our scenario and if you want to see your results so your results will be present inside this folders which we have given so if you want to see the results you can click here on the analyze results and it will open your result in the analysis which is the another component of load runner so uh, this completes uh, the objective of our uh, today's session so we have seen how we can design a basic uh, scenario and how we can design a sch basic schedule for it and how to run our scenario and what all the activities we can do what we can perform during our execution so uh, in our next video uh, we will be seeing how we can design a complex scenario uh, using controller so uh, how we can design a real world scenario and also how we can design a goal based scenario hope this session was quite informative for you please subscribe thank you